Today's video is made possible by our friends at Simply Safe. <laughs> Curse you. Welcome back, friends, to a beautiful day on the homestead. Man, I am so excited. We are going to get started today on our outside workbench so we can have a nice solid platform with a clamping system and a doweling system that's going to be so nice for all these projects that uh, I want to get going. So right here is the raw material. This is the log we're going to go with and we're going to be cutting today I think the biggest timber I've ever cut which is going to be a 12 inch by a 10 inch solid fir timber which will be our top for the main top for our bench. So let's um, Let's get it on the uh, let's or let's get it up on the the cribbing, and uh, start laying it out and come up with a plan here uh, as to what we're gonna do. Boy, you know a man's getting serious when he laces up his Nick's hot shots. Folks have been asking, how are your Nick's doing? Yeah, of course, excellent. I've got what four? Let's see, fit, I had these built in 2015, and they're still. They're just now getting broke in. <laughs> these, these are the type of boots uh, that if you invest in them, handmade of course, uh, will last you, last a guy a lifetime. Before we cut, we want to plan. This is a pretty big log. Now as far as the length of a bench, in my experience, I think about the perfect length for a bench is, is no less than six and a half feet. Six and a half feet is really a nice length. This log, is almost nine, eight feet, eight feet, 10 inches. So I don't see any reason why not to make an eight foot bench. Why, why waste, uh, why block off the end of it there when we have it? Might as well just take advantage of it and use it. So we'll go with that eight foot length. Now let's take a look at the end because we got some defects in here that we're gonna have to kind of work around. Here on the end, we can see probably why the mill didn't want it and why they put it aside for uh, outside sales. For custom milling because of this uh, defect in there. I believe they call this shake if memory serves and that is is possibly a, a kind of a fracture or a crack uh, or an imperfection that runs all the way through it. So if we were to, we want to cut a 12 by 10 right so just for your reference that's going to be there's a 12 right there by 10 here. If we were to cut off the side the natural way it lays we're going to be all full of that defect's going to be all in our material, but up here it seems to me that we have some some nicer materials. Kind of an odd shaped log. It's almost like an like egg shape. Uh, the challenge is going to be uh, to get it to stand up right because this is pretty heavy to move. After taking a look at this, I'm gonna change my mind. I think it's too dangerous to try to cut it this way, to try to prop it up and keep it from falling over and damaging my sawmill or hurting me. It's just not worth the risk. Uh, there is no defect on the other side, so we might just have to see what happens. I still think I can get something out of here that's, that's gonna be usable, so 
I'm gonna pull it back out of here, rotate it 90, and sit it down flat in its natural resting position. Simply Safe is an incredibly reliable, effective home security system that you can install yourself. If you've been feeling anxious about home security and have been putting it off, don't put it off a minute longer. You can order it online or over the phone. You can easily install it yourself. I've put two systems in. I've installed both of them in well under an hour. From there, your home would be monitored 24 seven. If you have a problem, the police could be called or a fire, the fire department could be notified. They have a variety of sensors that cover anything from wireless security cameras that you can access with your phone to freeze sensors, to smoke sensors. The sensors that we've put up have been really reliable. We haven't had any problems with our pets setting them off when we're away from home. The interfaces are fantastic. It's very easy to use. There are no contracts, and for around 50 cents a day, you can enjoy professional monitoring of your home. Simply safe on home. If you're interested in getting your very own contract-free security system, I invite you to go to simplysafe.com forward slash WranglerStar. What do you say, friends? That looks a little bit safer, doesn't it? All right, if you like these videos, I invite you to click the thumbs up right now. I'm doing my part to make good content for you guys. I ask you to do the same for me. Click that thumbs up. And comment. I always enjoy your comments, especially from those of you who have experience and do this. Because uh, professional homeowners, well, we know what that's about. Might be better off on this one to put a wedge in. Such a strange shape, this. Hard to even get a PV on it. That's what we're looking for. All right, this is the best part. Let's take a peek inside, see what we got. It's not every day you get to mill a big old growth fur like this. This is kind of a special opportunity. Cool part is, is we got three of them, and the other two are twice the size. <laughs> kind of crazy to have the mill up so high. Oh, this is exciting. This one's kind of tricky. I think we'll just, we'll just eyeball it. Let's get a flat cut on it, and then we can kind of reevaluate here. I think we're ready to go. Let's see what's in there.
Let's drop one inch. I'm looking for the top of our workbench. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> That's like a bark board there. We're getting close, friends. So what we need is we need 12 inches at the, at the narrowest spot, which looks to be right here. And what do we have there? So we only have seven. So let's go down. Let's go down one more inch and I think we'll expose the top of our bench for the first time. I guess we won't be seeing the top of our bench today. I don't know. <laughs>